Hello, health enthusiasts. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How was your weekend? Failure to consume this nutrient can lead to inflammation in the body. It is a crucial nutrient, yet the majority of Americans fail to consume adequate amounts. An inflamed body leads to gut dysfunction, heart dysfunction, brain dysfunction, eye problems, pain. Let's dive in. First, before I begin digging into this nutrient and possibly supplementing with it, we need to discuss diet. I believe our diets should be centered around eating real, whole food 90% plus of the time. You can't out-supplement a crappy diet. You can't out-exercise a crappy diet. You can't out-medicate a crappy diet. The diet is the foundation to build upon. That said, I have found patients are routinely deficient in certain nutrients due to our modern society and food industry. For those few nutrients, we need to focus on eating food sources with them. Or consider supplementing for them. Omega-3s are one of those nutrients that I am convinced nearly everyone needs to supplement for optimal health. It is one of two supplements I have been taking daily for over a decade. Below, I'll cover why they are so important for your health, what food sources contain them, and what you need to look for in a supplement. Omega-3's full name is Omega-3 Essential Fatty Acids. The reason they are essential is our human bodies can't make them. Meaning we have to obtain them from our food. Before we dive into the details, I want to cover 24 signs and symptoms associated with omega-3 fatty acid deficiency, rough, scaly skin, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, acne, dry eyes, dry hair, macular degeneration, age-related, arrhythmia, high blood pressure, angina, heart disease, brain fog, loss of memory, pain, inflammation, gut pain, discomfort, depression, anxiety, mood changes, add ADHD, difficulty learning, insomnia, allergies, and many more. Now, you may be thinking, how the heck can a deficiency in this nutrient potentially create all these issues? And that's a good question. It's because omega-3s are needed in every cell in the body. They comprise many of your cell membranes, the outer layer. They also make up a lot of the organelles inside the cell. These are the structures that run your cells. So, at a cellular level, if you are deficient in omega-3s, your cells cannot function as they should. Or your cells will not communicate with each other as they should. And wherever your weakest link is in your body, you will see signs and symptoms there. This is why such a wide variety of signs and symptoms are associated with omega-3 deficiency. One of the important things to know is omega-3s help to regulate inflammation in the body. Or better said omega-3s decrease inflammation. On the opposite side, omega-6 causes inflammation in the body. Omega-3s and omega-6s are needed for proper body function. We get both of them from our food because our bodies can't make them. However, the more important factor is their ratio to each other in the body. Ideally, you want a 1 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 in your body. It is estimated that you will develop a chronic disease if you have a 1 10 ratio or higher. The average in America is 1 16 plus. This is staggering. It's one of the major underlying causes of the rise of chronic diseases not only here in America but around the world. To change this ratio, you want to consume more foods with omega-3 and decrease the amount of foods containing omega-6. Grains and seeds contain omega-6s. The highest concentration of omega-6 foods are seed oils, also known as vegetable oils. However, they don't actually come from vegetables. This is just a marketing term to make them sound healthier. They're not. You can watch the video I made on seed oils. I leave it in the description box and at the end of the video. These are omega-6 s you want to avoid. Soybean oil, corn oil, canola oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, cottonseed oil, grapeseed oil, mustard oil, peanut oil, sesame oil. These oils are one big inflammatory bum in the body. Not to mention the chemicals used to process them and keep them shelf stable. If you start reading ingredient lists, you will see these oils are in many processed food products. You really would be wise to drastically limit these oils from your diet. This is another reason why I promote eating real, whole food. Real, whole food does not have concentrated amounts of these omega-6. In addition to cutting down the consumption of omega-6, uh, you want to start consuming more omega-3s. There are three types of omega-3s, DHA, EPA, ALA. I will cover each of them below. DHA is good for the brain, eyes, heart, skin. EPA is good for the eye, heart and inflammation. Good food sources of DHA and EPA are, 
wild-caught fatty fish, high-quality fish oil, algae, for vegans, pastured, organic eggs, grass-fed whole milk products, grass-fed and finished beef, grass-fed and finished lamb, pastured pork, wild game meat, the third omega-3 is Allah. It is good for, heart, brain, inflammation. Food sources of Allah are, flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, hemp seeds. One consideration of the above Allah food sources is their oils are susceptible to oxygen. When you expose the oils to oxygen, they easily go rancid and do so fairly quickly. This is why you always want freshly ground sources if you are utilizing these in your diet. But the second thing to know is the above Allah food sources only have a 0.1 to 0.9% conversion, yes, less than 1%, of changing Allah to EPA and DHA in the human body. The body ultimately needs EPA and DHA to function properly and optimally. So, one would have to eat many Allah-containing foods to get DHA and EPA food source benefits. Due to this, for my vegan patients, I highly recommend them supplementing with a vegan source DHA and EPA supplement. It is a no-brainer. My vegetarian patients have a little easier time because they can get their DHA and EPA from quality eggs and dairy products. My patients who consume meat have the best chance of getting sufficient amounts from their diet. However, unless they are consuming 100% organic, grass-fed and finished, pastured and wild-caught meat and animal products, meat and also consuming no seed oils, it is very tough for even them to get a proper ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 in our modern society. Even though I pay great attention to what I consume and put in my body, I'm imperfect. I hedge my bets and have consumed a high-quality omega-3 supplement for over a decade. We thank you for accompanying us on this informative journey into the world of Omega-3. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Remember to stay informed and make thoughtful decisions. We anticipate your return soon.